Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be a little bit of a short one um, as it's just a continuation on the last video. Uh, all I'm gonna do is show you how to set up TensorFlow uh, through your image streams so that you could um, detect an object and actually get some response from these um, TensorFlow models. What you wanna do first is head on over to uh, the T-Flight package by Flutter. So if you just search for T-Flight, uh, TF-Light, uh, then down here, you'll see there's a package here. And um, yeah, I highly recommend just reading through the documentation and sort of, uh, you know, the different ways of using uh, TensorFlow. First, what you wanna do is just copy over the package and then you go down to your popspec.yaml and in your dependencies you want to just paste that and pop it. So the project that I'm using is uh, the basic setup of a camera and an image stream. If you don't know how to do that I would highly recommend you to just watch my previous video where I tell you how to set it up with GitX. So once you got the package, you just go back to your uh, scan controller or wherever you initialize the camera stream. So another thing you have to import the model files like here in your pubspec.yaml at the bottom. Uh, and then you actually have to create this folder called assets and then add the label and model file in. So basically the label file is the different labels that the um, model detects, whether it's one or a thousand things, um, depending on what the model detects, it's gonna show you. Uh, so I'll show you an example. So if you go into the package itself, uh, you'll see there's an example app and in the example app they actually have the default model um, in there so here we go and example assets see here's a lot of the uh, models so what I'll do is I'll just use the SSD mobile net base model and then the text file which I'll just um, rename so paste that in there, add it in, and then uh, we have to rename labels. Okay, uh, pub git. Oh yeah, and now I just have to rename this one as well. And just re rename the model to uh, whatever you see there. Um, just change the name down here. This is the mobile net. So now that that's done, all I need to do is import the uh, T-Flight and then what I'm going to do is initialize uh, the model file. <clears throat> so let's create a new function, future. TensorFlow uh, async and I'm just going to copy this all right so 
also just have to rename <coughs> to what I have in here. So you just specify a model. Uh, this is leaf. And then your label, labels.txt. So you can see actually here, it's all the different um, objects it can recognize. And then once that's done, So in a TensorFlow, so you put this on your, there we go. Mm. Next, also put the dispose method in. Uh, so if you dispose, Yeah, so it basically the output that you get from the model is a map and you get the all we really need is the confidence level and <clears throat> the label what it detects the label is actually the most important as you can set the confidence of your uh, you can set the threshold to your uh, models files um, I'll show you down here So <clears throat> this is the <clears throat> This is the method we're looking for, where we actually, there's a few methods you could use from the, there's a few different methods uh, you can use in the T-Flight package. Uh, basically different ways how you want to um, pass the images through. Uh, example, there's one where you take a file from your device itself and pass it through the model uh, or you could, uh, but we, what we're interested in is the one down here where you actually pass the frame from the image stream uh, directly through uh, in a, the raw binary format to get a uh, response. So I'll copy this one and create a new function. So feature. Recognition. Okay, so we have to actually give it a image, a camera image. Let's just print out the whatever we see. Using TensorFlow in this manner uh, could be quite intensive on the processor, especially if you're running it uh, at the frame rate of the camera itself, which is like 30 frames a second. So that's not something you would actually want to do. You have to slow it down a bit. Uh, and for that, what you can do is actually just use every, uh, you know, 10th image or 20th image, something that, that runs maybe at about two to three frames a second, just to make sure that, you know, your phone doesn't heat up or anything like that. And to do this, I'm going to create a integer. Uh, it to zero 
and then inside the image stream what you want to do is just pass the image not every single frame but every tenth frame so you can do an if statement which is if uh, count uh, by 10 goes to 0 so this is what you want to do So now you're only taking every tenth image and then you run the model on that specific image. Uh, so okay, so make that private. And image. Before I run it, there is a few things you have to configure, especially on the iOS side, uh, before you get this model to work. Um, before we get this package to work. So let me show you how to do that. So you can see once I uh, increase this number, the labels will come in slower. So if I do it, example 30, so now it's basically coming in at one frame every second. And uh, if you increase this number to, let's say three, it's gonna come in way faster. And yeah, that's okay, but especially with some older phone models, like uh, <clears throat> with some of the older brands, it might get extremely, um, your phone might get really hot and it might be really difficult to uh, process all of these, process the images so fast. So let's say, keep it at 10 for now. And now I could actually show you down here. So basically you can say if recognitions, no. Okay, now I'm gonna <clears throat> So you can see the threshold is set to 0 0.1. So now you actually want to look at the confidence score and basically only detect things with a high confidence. So what you want to do is if, if uh, recognitions zero being the first result Uh, con is greater than 50 so as you can see now it's only showing you values with a really high confidence which is good and I'll actually just print out the label uh, zero label 
So apparently, <laughs> these are the objects that it's detecting. So anyway, guys, that's just the basic setup of TensorFlow. Uh, obviously, I didn't go into details of uh, these models. There's different types of models uh, specific to what you want to do. For example, uh, models that's more focused on uh, classification, which is the model that I just showed you right now. And then there's other models that's more to do with object recognition and actually gives you more detail like a boundary box and exactly where the object is. Um, and also there's other models like uh, PoseNet, which uh, you could use for uh, detecting uh, joint positions in a human body. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and hit a like button if you haven't done so already. If you had any issues setting up TensorFlow, please comment down below and I'll try to uh, answer the questions as good as as best as I can and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye